What's up, everybody? My friend Dylan is actually here. Hey, guys. Let's change it back to this. And we'll go back into it. I got to the coast today. Okay. I just, I was doing a bunch of side missions and side requests and stuff like that. And ended up getting to the coast. So that was the last thing I did. Do you know what research level you are right now? Like the stars? Yeah. Five. Okay. I just got to five. I forget what that was at that point. Very low. Yeah. I had to, like, catch so many Pokemon to get myself. Really? Yeah. Because I was, like, really behind. I was just trying to, like, get through the story. And Fair enough. I mean, I was catching every new Pokemon I saw. Mm -hmm. but I wasn't doing any of their, like, research tests and whatnot. Okay. Alright, here's my... Let me show you my Pokemon. They're all pretty even. I just put the ponytail in. Okay. You get your shiny ponytail? Mm-hmm. I don't know why I didn't put him in. You know what? Too late. <laughs> Too late? He's level 18. <laughs> I'm going with him. I'm going with him. He, he earned his spot here by me fucking up. <laughs> well, thank you, John. I'm definitely going to be learning that. That's a, the next cover we're going to be doing. We're, we're learning a song called Nightbringers right now. And then that's going to be the next one we're focusing on, so getting used to it. I don't know where it says hey. Hey. I don't know what's up with this. I don't know why it says there's a new request here. And then there's no request. Mm, maybe you got to go to the um, the chalkboard in the... I checked a bunch of times. Nothing. Okay. Weird. Either way, well, so what were the requests that I have? Because I don't, I think I don't think I can do really any requests at this point. Yeah, Cherim, I don't think I can find in a couple locations because I was looking into some of these. I'm certainly not doing that right now, collecting all the wisps. You can get Cherim in the trees in the first place. Really? Yeah. Huh. You know what? You might need to get the surf. Okay. First. You don't have surf, right? Uh -uh. Yeah. You get that in uh, coastlands. Okay, that makes sense, because I also got this one from Magikarp, but I caught one when it came close to me, but I was like, honestly, I'm just going to wait till I can surf. Okay. Don't know how to do that yet. Didn't even bother. I haven't found a Duskull yet, so I assume it's in this next place, and, we know, and it's said that the shell yeah, is in the next place, so. Okay. okay. Cool, so let's head over there. Let's see what kicks up there. Okay. Well, yeah, like normal. I'll text you tomorrow, um, seeing if uh, if Chris can't come, that you can come in. Okay. I don't know what he's doing. We'll find out. All right. I think I'm working till eight or something. Okay. And Owen's got to pick up his shit, dude. I know. Owen's gotta I told him yesterday. I was like, "Yo, um, you should do uh, Sword and Shield because you get there's he's like, uh, there's nothing to play right now." I said, "You should play Sword and Shield." Mm. And he said. Fuck no. And I said, why not? Because it's boring. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Yeah. Story to that game is not very good. No. I agree. You know what? I'm going to wait till the morning. Now, Laura, how's Final Fantasy XIV been treating you? And John, have you been playing any games recently? I've been playing Poker VR. Poker VR? Poker VR. Oh, Poker. I was like, yeah. oh my god, there's a virtual reality thing for Pokemon? No, it's just Poker. Virtual reality. Fair enough. Do you have the Oculus, or? Yeah, I got the Oculus, too. Nice. Actually, way too fun. <laughs> One of those things that just get addicted, you know? Yeah. And it's like fake money, so it's fine. Like, I'm not like gambling <laughs> at my real life savings. Okay, good. That, that's good to know. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's just like in game currency. I'm gonna fuck all you guys up. I'm gonna fuck all these cats up. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Very important distinction. Now, I don't know if that was a really good save. <laughs> no one caught it. No one caught it. Okay. Yet. Yet. Really need to get back to it. Haven't touched shield in like a month. Understandable. Sounds good. Yep. Have a good one. There's a patch updating as you watch this. They take forever. I'm glad I can be your entertainment while you wait for your entertainment. <laughs> uh, okay. Chat? Who thinks I can take this? Let me know. Let me know. Probably change my stuff here. Yeah, let's just update that. Okay. It ain't like that. <laughs> go big or go home? All right. Lux Ray it is. He's definitely like level 60. He, my Pokeball didn't even fucking land. Oh. I mean, I wish that missed. <laughs> okay, okay. Oh, wait. Hold on. Don't die. Oh god, wait, I think I got it. Oh. Alright, I didn't. Uh oh, guys. Seat of mastery. What the fuck is that thing? Oh, I'm eight of these. Okay. What's a seat of mastery do? You know what? I bet it masters the move. Yeah. Okay. Where are my revives? There we go. Glad you guys had faith in me. What are these things? Oh, pop pot. Oh, I need I need those too. Iron chunk. Can I craft a great ball with the iron chunk? Yeah, I can.
Oh, and John, I, I did this one, this request earlier when I was streaming. Uh, it was a glam meow. You were right. This game really does have such cool mechanics in the sense that, like, you can still catch things normally like you, like you normally would. I don't know, I think they did very well. Elnora, did you watch the PlayStation State of Play at all? Smacked in the face with it. Wait, I want a hit pong. Don't turn around. Did you guys watch the PlayStation State of Play at all? Imagine you'll be playing those games for a long time. You just don't watch those sorts of things. What do you think, John? Anything catch your attention?
good, very entertaining. I think there are some pretty good games in it. Like Alnora, I thought of you as soon as I saw like they, they had the Resident Evil 4 remake again. They're doing a Resident Evil Village, I think, on VR. Which is pretty interesting. Sorry, I was just thinking really quick about what I needed, needed to put in here. Um, what else did I got announced? Oh, but the game that I thought looked very interesting was Eternites. Um, I mean, really just because it looks a lot like Persona. That interested me. <laughs> so we'll see. And interestingly enough, if you saw the Eternites thing, I'm pretty sure one of my professors from Duchess was actually one of the guys who uh, created the music for the game. That one Resident Evil is what you're looking forward to. Makes sense. If this is secret, but I'm the only person on the planet who thought Resident Evil 4 was meh. But it wasn't having sense. Um, well, okay, so as you know, I've never played any Resident Evil games. Was 4, like, one of the biggest ones? Like, was that one of, like, the, the critically acclaimed ones in the series? Richard, uh... Resident, uh, VR Resident Evil is pretty fire. I didn't know they did that many VR games for Resident Evil already. But you heard 7 was good? Nice. Hopefully it does well. I mean, personally, I'm very much looking forward to fi uh, Final Fantasy 16. Oh, it was the biggest. Okay, that makes sense. Who thinks I can get around this guy without him noticing me? Okay, well, I don't think that's gonna work, but. Oh! Nice. Jesus Christ, I just threw this heavy-ass ball at this poor little thing's head. But it was the biggest, okay. Interesting. You're right, it really should. I'm glad it didn't, but it should. This one's a. No, this one's not that big. It's just like a big circle. Okay. Well. I mean, I might as well get some research levels. Some levels. Wow, 
4 came out over 15 years ago, and people still say it's still the best of the series, if not one of the best action games. That's high praise. Or just over a series that, like, I got into. I know one of my friends, Brian, that I stream with often here, he, um, he's a friend, Chris, and I know they played a couple of the games. I don't know which ones. I would imagine 4 is one of them. But I never played them with him. Maybe I should ask what he's got. Oh, and then John. Um, what about the Sonic stuff? Did you hear about the, any of the Sonic stuff from today? They had a whole Sonic Central thing going on, I guess. Laura, I can't imagine you play any Sonic games. To be fair, I also do not really. explore at night yet. If you guys hear, heard some weird noises, I was just licking some of the, the butter off my finger. Probably sounded weird. <clears throat> yeah, I've been since Sonic Adventure on the Dreamcast. Okay. <laughs> What an uh, experience that was. I bet. I've played Sonic Adventure DX on the GameCube. Never I've, I've personally never played it on the Dreamcast. My friend has, actually. He said it was a lot of fun. Um, but I have not. Sonic Adventure 2 was, like, my main game. Chows are great though. Dude, they're like the best part of the game. Like, my sisters would play the game with me to play the Chows. Play both Dreamcast and GameCube for both games. Charge, probably get killed, but then try and catch it out. Did I catch the last ball ring? Do you guys remember? Did I catch him or did I just kill him? But the chat, no, the Chows and Sonic, Sonic Adventure 2 is the one that I played more of. I'll be honest. You did prefer the GameCube version? Okay. For both? Interesting.
Does it matter where I stand? Like, if I throw the heavy ball from back here, will it actually hit him from back here? Probably not. No, from where we start the encounter? Interesting. Will that work? Oh. Okay, let's see. Was that the first one that I caught, or did I catch the other one? Not even know it. Nope. Caught it. Woo! Oh, what should I drop? Oh, I have four iron chunks? Oh. Five now. Okay, perfect. Let me tell you, I... So yeah, I, me and my friends, like, played Sonic Adventure 2 religiously. We'll escape from the city. Oh, what a, it's a, what a good fucking soundtrack. But, um, my friend, what was I going to say? Oh, no, no, when the game came out on the Xbox 360, I was so hyped because I was like, oh, cool, it's going to breathe new life into this game, people are going to start playing it again, and then on top of that, like, it's going to be awesome because... Like, it's gonna have Wi-Fi capabilities. Like, can you imagine, like, what Chow Racing and Chow Karate would have been with fucking matchmaking? It would have been, like, a whole different game. And then they just didn't fucking put that shit in. And I was like, are you serious? You had such an incredible opportunity, and you fucked it up. So I was pers- I, I took that attack personally. But they didn't add it in. Perfectly honest with you. But, you know, to each their own, whatever they thought they could do. Oh, it's just so frustrating. Oh, wait, I want to continue going this way. Right, I want to go back to that request. Um, then, you know, uh, oh, I should probably... Oh, oops. That's what I'm saying. You had one job, Microsoft. It's just... I don't know, like, I don't know what... What asshole was against that? Who was like, no, no, no. Terrible idea. Like, it really does make me think that I don't know much about the video game industry because, like, why put effort into an IP when could not? You're so fucking right. Like, I really think there's so much I don't understand about the video game industry because I feel like I have such great ideas. And I, I really do, I try and think of it from a, from a business standpoint. And I just can't see the reason that they still do some of the things that they do. And I must be missing something. Some information, something that makes these things not viable, that I don't think about. And it's just so frustrating. Like, a, okay, a perfect example, I think, is um, I, whether or not you guys have really played it is a different story, but Modern Warfare 2, I don't know if you, I don't know, I, I doubt Al Nora was, maybe John, maybe you were a Call of Duty guy for a little bit, um, I wasn't crazy about Call of Duty, but I will admit that I do love Modern Warfare 2, and it's just because I played it so much as a kid, like, I played it so much, when, not when it came out, but I got into it afterwards with my cousin, it has a lot of nostalgia for me. I don't know why they just remastered the campaign, just remastered the multiplayer. They're, I think, Activision's problem with it, like, what, what they really said was they didn't want to remaster it. You've only played Black Ops. Okay, that's a really good one, too. But, okay, so same same difference. It'll, I think we can still make the same argument here. When they re just remastered the campaign, their reason for not redoing the multiplayer was because they didn't want to take any attention away from that year's Call of Duty. Well, I have an idea. Why don't you just not make a new Call of Duty that year? And just make Modern Warfare 2 Remastered the Call of Duty for that year. Alright? Hear me out. Because I don't think anyone loses in that situation. Because I think anyone that wants to play on Modern Warfare 2 will be so excited that it's back in circulation and that you can actually play it. And uh, anyone who's buying Call of Duty annually anyway, they don't care what Call of Duty it is. They just care that there is one and that they'll be able to play one that year. That's it. So I feel like it's a win-win, like, really, think about it from a business standpoint and tell me if I'm missing something, because I think that from a business standpoint, that's amazing, because anyone who's buying it annually is going to buy it anyway, and people like me, who don't play Call of Duty anymore and don't, don't buy it, will buy that in a heartbeat. I really just think from a business standpoint that there's nothing to lose from doing it that way. Right? I can't... And it has to be easier for the company to remake a game 
than it is to make build one from scratch. Like it, it has to be easier. Like they'll make more. Th literally, it has to be easier in terms of manpower, in terms of work that needs to be done. It has to be easier, so it doesn't take as long. And on top of that, they'd get more money because more people would buy it. I just don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand what I'm missing that makes this n not a viable option. Oh my god, is this thing gonna beat me up? Is it using metronome? That's sick. Hey, it's okay. I just don't get it. Like, I do understand, okay, I will understand that for the most part, the video game industry is an industry where you don't want to keep relying on things from the past. It is a very, like, forward, in, forward thinking industry that if you're not, in, if you're not innovating, you're not doing well. I understand that mentality. It sucks because it's not true, but I understand it. But I also think that we're at a point in the video game industry where most people that are that have been playing, people like us, have nostalgia tied to a lot of games. And I think nostalgia is a huge factor that video game companies aren't really cashing out on. I think it would be smart for, for bigger companies to like dedicate certain people in their companies to remastering games. Now, I also understand that that's a big push, but I, I think that we can try it, and I think that if we try it, they'll see massive results from it. I really think that's true. Because these publishers like EA and Activision set deadlines. It's stupid and a problem caused by them, but that's the biggest reason. Unless you're Skyrim. That's a fucking good point, Elnor. Ooh, Elotre's dead. <gasps> this motherfucker. It's true, unless you're Skyrim. Oh, no. Okay, Luxury's dead. I think... I think I'm gonna have to kill it. I don't think I can really take too many too many risks here right now. Um... I don't know. It's just super weird. To me. Like, and not for, I mean, not for nothing, too, I know I'm in the majority. And, like, okay, this is interesting, because I want to ask you guys this now. I'm very curious. Um, oh, fuck. Oh, wait, let me think. Can I, can I still win this fight? I still have a shot. Hold on. Um, how do you guys feel about collections? Like, say, take one of your favorite... Take one of your favorite series, okay? If they were to do... Oh, that was dumb. Actually, I shouldn't have done it like that. Fuck. Is that gonna kill it? Probably not. Oh, no. That's gonna kill me. Yeah. Okay, wait, I still think Float's out can do it. It's crunch. Um, how do you guys feel about collections? That's why it was only a matter of time before Resident Evil was remastered, to be honest. I thought it would be before 2 and 3 because of its popularity. Yep. 4. Right. Re or Resident Evil 4. Yeah. Makes sense. Um, but, like, okay, perfect example. What, Alnora, would you get, like, again, I don't know Resident Evil games, so I don't know how popular they are, like, which ones are popular and stuff. So, just hear me out when I say, like, what if they had a Resident Evil remake collection of the first four games? Would you get that? Would that be something? Let's say you had a PS5, okay? Newest generation of console, and they made one, two, three, and four. Like, just as a collection. Would that be something you'd be interested in? There's a new before remaster of People's Bank. Exactly. But, like, I'm just curious about the collection thing. And same to you, John. Like, I don't know what some of your favorite series are. But, let's say, and you, okay, let's just, for now, say Sonic. Doing the exact same, same thing with Sonic the Hedgehog when Sonic Origin comes out. Exactly. Okay, so yeah, okay, so that answers my question. Collection for you, John, is a thumbs up. What about you, Alnora? Is that something that you're, you'd be interested in in general? What do I need? Pep up plants.
Okay, so you don't buy re-releases because you have them already. Okay, that actually is very helpful in what I'm about to say. Because I would have thought that, like, a remastered game would be, like, an obvious choice, typically. Oh, shit. He saw me? That was quick. I thought remastered games would be, like, a, a no-brainer. Because I, th I, would, I would think that people would love to have the games that they had already, but better graphics, and especially in a collection kind of thing. If you had, like, the Halo Master Chief collection I thought was a great idea. Not owning the originals or remasters or remakes is a different story? Okay. Because I thought, okay, for instance, I, I thought a perfect series that they did this with was the Halo Master Chief collection. I thought that was very smart to do it with because all of these games were on, like, the 360, and then this is their way of bringing it to the modern console, to the Xbox One, and then they still have Series S and X updates and stuff. So they're, they're continuing to kind of, like, push things with it. When I was looking up a long time ago, Halo sales, the two least sold Halo games of all time was the Combat Evolved Anniversary, like, the Anniversary Edition of the very first Halo game, and the Master Chief Collection. That shocked me. I was like, how do you take one of the one of the like biggest series in terms of shooters and you just have a remaster collection with all of the games that people loved and it sells so poorly like that didn't make any sense to me so that made me realize that I am in the minority in terms of wanting remasters and stuff but that still did shock me a little bit honestly I think these companies should offer the remaster to those who own the original game already at a steep discount that makes sense too, and that would be really fucking nice. Let me tell you. <laughs> I agree, John. That would be really nice. But then that makes me think, like, oh, like, maybe people don't want the remasters as much as I thought. Maybe I. And again, I'm in the minority. Which sucks. Can you not focus in on him? Smack my face. Boom. Oh. No, no. Change focus. Change, change the focus. I don't want to look at him. There we go. Like, I thought it was incredible Oops. at the fact that Nintendo did the Super Mario games. Like, they did a... Uh, like Super Mario 64 with Sunshine and Galaxy, and they did that 3D All-Stars kind of thing. I thought that was awesome. Was not expecting them to do that. But then that also stirred up a lot of rumors. I remember people were saying, like, oh my god, what if they do that for, like, this, this, and this? Then I saw rumors that they were going to do it for The Legend of Zelda. That they were going to do... I forgot what the big rumor was. Oh my god, there's two Seraptors? Shit. Um... The other one goes first. Are you kidding me? That sucks. Um. Just do a wild charge, I guess. Um. I think it was like Ocarina of Time, Majora's Mask, and uh, Wind Waker that I was hearing that they were going to be doing together. I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. That's not going to happen. Poor Luxor is taking a fucking beating, dude. I had so many times to get into this area. But I don't know, like, I'm, I'm the kind of guy that loves collections. Like, I, I'm hearing rumors that uh, Microsoft is going to be doing a Gears of War collection, like the same treatment that Halo got when they did the Master Chief collection. I would love that. I think the big, I think what it comes down to the most, which I think we've also, which I think we've actually spoken about before, is that I'm a big um, believer of um, game preservation, and the fact that most companies don't offer that from one to the next. I would love to just have remasters of games to bring to the next to the next series of console because of that reason. 
I think that's mostly it. At its core, remaster isn't going to offer that big of a difference, especially to the story. A remake is a little different. Like Resident Evil Two was a remake, not a remake. Oh, that's a good point. That's a good point. I don't really, I never really think about that. It was an upgrade and always possible from the PS1 version, obviously. That's true, kind of like how the Final Fantasy VII Remake is a completely different game from how Final Fantasy VII was. Um, I'm trying to think of what it... Like, the Final Fantasy X Remaster I thought was great. Like, I've seen... Like, I've never played the original, but, like, in terms of differences I've seen from the two, it's nice. Uh, I'm trying to think of what... Okay, so the Sly Collection. The Sly Trilogy was perfect, I think. Like, that I loved. I loved the fact that they took these PS2 games, put them on PS3... Offered the the, the 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 better Vic or the better graphics from and put them all on one disc together. I thought that was awesome. Nintendo being a huge offender, that's true, very true. I don't know. I think that would be awesome. Like I'm just looking at my games. Like I don't even have that many games anymore to say. But like PS4, like most of my games are collections. Like honestly, I have the Sly Collection. I have the Master Chief Collection. I have the Super Mario 3D All-Stars I have for Nintendo. I have, oh, the Kingdom Hearts 1.5 and 2.5 collection. I have the 2.8 collection for that. I have um, the Uncharted collection. Yeah, I really just have a ton of collections. The music in Final Fantasy X was huge down great. Interesting, I didn't know that. Interesting thing to kind of like fall behind on. Oh, shit. Um, can I just fight the Dusclops, maybe? Uh-oh, is that thing coming? Ooh, Duskull, I do need you. Oh, shit, the Driftlim is in the fight? Ah, uh, shit. Okay, that's fine. That's will do a lot. Like, okay, personally, and this is why, like, I know it's not going to happen, but I have been holding out so much hope. So Persona is obviously a game that I've spoken to both of you about. And John, I know that you played Persona 4 Golden, and I know we've talked about that, and I know, Alora, you were not a huge fan of Persona in general. Um, but with its 25th anniversary, there were so many rumors about, like, what they could be doing. They could be doing, like, a Persona... Th like, they could be bringing Persona 3, 4, like, 3 to, gener like, a new generation of consoles because it was on the PSP and PS3. I think it was. I don't even know if Persona 3 was on the PS3. I don't think it was because Persona 5, I think, was on the PS4 originally. Or PS3, even the PS3. I don't even know. But anyway, bringing PS3 to, or Persona 3 to more modern consoles, they were talking about bringing PS or Persona 4 to con Persona 4 Golden to consoles and bringing Persona 5 to Xbox. But like, I'm like, what if there was a collection? What if they did a collection? Of Persona 3, 4, and 5. I would pay sh a s I would pay a ton of money for that. Just to have a collection of them. Or even like remasters or remasters or remakes of Persona 1 and the two Persona 2 games that they have. I think that would be amazing just to bring just to bring it to us being able to play it. People are like, yeah, the game sucks, but the soundtrack is great. They done messed up the remaster. Oof. That's rough. Did not know that. Did not know that. But now, like, so I was so excited because September of. Oh, shit, I wonder what, what did I just do to the stream? Oh, nothing. We're lucky. I accidentally clicked the fucking mouse somewhere. Oh, I'm going to go to the map because I can't see what I did. Let's see. You would buy either, right? I fucking wouldn't a heartbeat. 3 was on PS2. Okay, that makes sense. The only one that you played. What'd you think of Persona 3? Did you play the original or did you play FES? <laughs> That's why I got hit by shit. Let's see. If I... Oh. Oh, shit. Um, yeah, I'll just start after that. I'll fight this dust hole.
Taffy has played and finished it, just didn't get it. Okay. Understandable. Man, really wish it wasn't nighttime right now. <laughs> Luxray, dude. This, like I said a minute ago, this dude has been taking a fucking beating in this place. Only because he's been a little. Oh, it's two red blimps. I would love to play FES. I heard that. I, I actually, I downloaded it on an emulator. Don't tell the police. But I downloaded it onto an emulator. But then I heard that it was possibly coming to consoles with one of the announcements that they were making. And I was like, oh shit, that would be amazing. So I won't play it yet. And of course, now it's been months since I heard that, so I have no idea what the fuck is happening. Thoroughly enjoyed Persona 4. You need to start playing Persona 4 Golden. I highly recommend it. But only because I've only played Persona 4 Golden. But I just know about the quality of life changes that they made. Like, I can't wait for Persona 6, but I also know that since that's the first Persona game that I'll be playing in real time, I also know that they're gonna make, like, a better Persona 6, like, a year later. So it's kind of bittersweet, like, oh, I can't wait to play it, but at the same time, should I wait to play it? Just because I know that Persona 6, whatever that new version is gonna be, is gonna be so much better. The Strickland's really buffing himself up. Poor Luxray, dude. Jesus. And there goes the rest of the punches, so I'm not going to be fighting any more ghost types right now. It's going to be pretty hard to do at night, but I just want to get over to where this bitch needs me to be for the request. At least I made it. <laughs> Jesus. What's that box over there? I really drown there. Really? It's right there, buddy. It's right there. Okay, well. Let's just go ahead and start running because. I think she said he was starting to set up a base camp, which would be nice to have one out here, which means I could also just, like. rest. Chancy. Ooh. Alright, alright, I see what I see what we're doing here. Oh, I also see what we're doing here. And not being able to get up here very easily. John, did you ever play any Shin Megami Tensei games? Okay. Um, honestly, fuck that. At this point. Fight it. Oh, well, that is not what I meant to do, but it's certainly what I ended up doing. No, don't be mad, don't be mad. Okay, 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 okay. Calm down. Oh, is it good? Going low? Is that what that was? Yeah. Good. Fucking should. No, no, no. Oh, strong style chancy? This thing can't do Oh, Giga Impact! Oh my god! 
Uh oh. All right, here we go. <laughs> Fuck. Tried the one on mobile, the X2. I think it is. I didn't like it. I didn't even know they had one on mobile. That's such a weird thing to put on mobile. Okay, okay. Here we go. Here we go. I got this. What? They really made one for mobile? That's so weird. I hate that I went to Google Shin Megami Tensei and as soon as I typed in SH, ShopRite came up. Dude, they're fucking ruined me. <laughs> oh, you piece of shit. Why'd you do that? I didn't like that. Okay, wait. What were the games? Digital Devil Story, Digital Devil Story 2, Shin Megami Tensei 2, yeah. 9, Dead 3, Nocturne. Imagine, Strange Journey. I don't even have the main. Interesting. I don't even see it fucking listed here, dude. Oof. I haven't played too many of them. I have five for the Switch now. <laughs> the audience is now dead. <laughs> My bad. Um. Let's see why, though. God damn it, Jaquavion. I honestly don't even fucking remember this dude's name to change it back. He just will now forever be Jaquavion. Uh, oh, I didn't fix the problem. Okay. Click some revives. Nope. Click some potions. Luxray, dude. You fucking hurt. You, you, you deserve it, Luxray. Is that really all that's over here? Interesting. Okay. Good. Let's make some. Oh. Let's make. Some great balls. Back, you got it, Almora. Um, I guess I'll just make another potion real quick. Who sees me? Oh, does this want to fight? Do you want to fight about it? He's gotta be around here. He's gotta be around here because I want him to be around here so that I have some kind of base camp to set up. That's why he's gotta be around here. I just want to look it up at this point because I don't want to keep fucking running around this place in the corner here. Alright. Wait. Did I just miss him? I did just miss him. Okay. Oof. 
good thing I looked that up. That'd be fucking... Ugh, I would've been over here looking for this dude for nine years. On far reaches of this place. Is he just like at the end of this? For some reason? Oh wait, is that an iron chunk? Yeah. Yeah. Oh god, do I really not? Bro, what did I pick up? Oh, that. No, don't favorite it. Just ugh. Thanks for dropping you. Where's this guy? Don't be an asshole guy. Just show up. Don't be hard to find. Oh, wait. Okay. I am now looking further. I now see where to go. I was planning on streaming Shin Megami Tensei 3 a while back, but it hasn't come back up yet. There he is. That's frustrating. Um, Cause me and my friend were playing it, and then did I not catch this thing. Ah, that answers that. Uh, I was planning on. Uh, I'm just gonna, oh, walk over to him. That makes sense too. Uh, I was because I was playing with my friend before I started streaming. Then we took a break to do Paper Mario. That we started doing the Dark Star Edition, and I want to bring I want to bring it back. I don't know when because we're actually playing a different game, not streaming it. Um, but I do I do want to bring back SMT three. Second, I'll be right back. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna mute the mic for just a second.
I'm gonna do a roll call really quick because I was definitely gone for like 20 minutes without even realizing it. And that is my bad. Anyone still here? John, Elnora, are you guys, uh. You guys, uh. Sticking with me? <laughs> you dead? Elnora, did you just get back? I mean, dude, you guys are the best. Alright, that's so cool. I walked away. Okay, to be fair, I walked away because my blood sugar was going low, so I just wanted to have some cookies. Um, and then I heard my dad make a comment, and so I was talking to him, and then I took a call from someone. Um, and then realized I was on that call for 15 minutes, and was like, I still have my stream up. <laughs> Whoops. Alright, let's get back to this for a little bit. Let's have some fun. Thank you guys for sticking around. I'm glad, I'm glad I stuck it out with the stream. I'm glad I kept streaming. And I went back to Legend of Arceus to talk to you guys. I miss you guys. I hope, I hope work is doing okay. Now you came back like 15 minutes ago. My bad. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Okay. I feel like this is actually not going to get me a base camp. It's actually just going to be a request. Oh, <gasps> yes. I like this area. I like this area a lot more than the original one. Or, not the original, sorry. I like the original one. I like this one a lot. Um, not a huge fan of the Crimson Firelands. Um, let's just rest up. Okay, where do, what were we talking about? Were we in the middle of a conversation? I know we were just talking about like Shin Megami Tensei and I was saying that I was gonna be doing those games on stream. Um, what do you call it? I feel bad because I know I was talking about doing like that Outlast stream. I think it was at 100 followers I was going to do it. But now that I kind of like took that break from streaming just because I went on vacation and then um, had a bad week in terms of my blood sugar and then right after that had my sister's wedding, uh, I feel like I lost a lot of momentum. So I got to like get back into streaming and get some followers and do some different games and stuff and try and get back to that point. So it might not be for a bit again, which kind of sucks. But I'm going to try my best to kind of build up that following so that I can do the stream. But okay, let's see. What were some missions and requests that I had in this area? So I still can't do that. I'm not doing that. I can't do that. I can, I can hand that in at any time. I can hand that in at any time. Okay, you know what? Let's go ahead and turn those in then. Because why the hell not? What I'll do is I'll turn those in by leaving. And then I will... Just head to the left instead of the right. Oh, I'm being targeted? I think that's the one. <laughs> Can you imagine if I stream Fortnite? I don't even... Wait, why did I go here? Um... Nah, I would never stream that. I would never... I mean, I, I don't even see myself playing any Battle Royale games anytime soon. Oh, hell yeah. Okay. That should give me a good amount of points towards my thing. 68 still, wow. Yeah, okay, I got it. Togepi, I completed that research not do much with Sveals or Glamials or most of the, I have mostly Pokemon are like around half. Which is pretty good for now. Okay, not bad. Get them views. I know, that's the rough part because like, on the one hand I do want to get viewers obviously, but at the same time I want to play the games that I want to play. No, I don't want to play, like, I would never, like, okay, to be fair, I would also never play a game like Fortnite in general. Like, I'm going to play what I want to play, and then if I get views, cool. I think that's more of what I want to do. But also, I think I was talking to you guys about this kind of recently in one of the streams. 
Did I mention to you guys that I want to stream um, my band practices soon? Like, I want to work on getting that done? Or, sorry, I want to work on getting that set up? I think I had mentioned that before. He's not a creep, he's a very nice old man. New to you? Okay, yeah. I want to start streaming my band practices. Now, here's the problem, because we have obviously a limited band fund in terms of money that we needed. Um, here's the problem. We wanted to get new merch because we were running out of shirts. Okay? So we obviously had that problem going. Um, but we also wanted to get some kind of online presence. Now we wanted to we, we didn't really know what we wanted to do first and that was a tough call that was a tough decision to make Ooh. is that really where I have to turn it into? interesting um, so we didn't know which one to do first we ended up choosing merch first so we had we basically for just to shorten it up we had we had a grand in our band fund we had a grand to spend on whatever we wanted to next that we've saved up from different shows and whatnot, merch sales. So we decided to get new merch first. So we have 660 spent on the merch. So we basically have a little bit over, uh, we, we have a little over 400, uh, 300 left right now. And so because of that, we're needing to get more money, but we bought the shirts. So we're gonna get that stuff, I think June 18th. So we should have it for the chance show. Um, if, you go, if either of you wanted to come out and see us Saturday, June 25th, we're playing in Poughkeepsie. Let me know, Alnora. I do know it's hard for you to get off the Saturdays, and I do know you already said you might not be able to swing it, so no big deal if you can't. Uh, I'm glad that you were able to come to the last one. It was fun to have you there. I, was, uh, I wish I got to talk to you more, uh, but I was running around constantly that night, as you saw, so I'm glad I was able to talk a little bit. Um, John, if you end up wanting to come, let me know. I'll bring a ticket in. I'm bringing tickets for Lisa. No one else has answered me yet. Izzy's got to give me an answer, and no one else fucking answers my texts. Fucking yell at everyone for me. Mel didn't answer my text. Tori didn't answer my text. Um, let's see who else did. Like, li I, no one I texted today answered me, and I'm so upset about it. Aside from Lisa. Sal didn't answer. If you guys remember Sal, what a dick. Melanie didn't answer me. Tori didn't answer me. Vanessa didn't answer me. I'm like, you got to be kidding me. Fucking yelling at everyone. But basically, once, I, once we make the money back, we need to get another interface, and we're going to get some mics. Mic up his drum kit, and we have a way to plug in all of our guitars and amps. And we have a mixing board already set. So, um, basically, it was funny. Um, now that you can't go, everyone will go. Are you the only one? Are you the only one that what? Basically, uh, it was, it was, you the only one that text, you, text me back? I mean, some people do sometimes. I, Mel, okay, granted, even when I worked there, Mel usually didn't text me back. I just got Tori's number, but I know, I know Tori and Vanessa are very bad at texting back. I knew that ahead of time. I'm surprised that Sal didn't answer, because Sal usually, usually answers. He texts me, kind of, he, he texts me every now and then, so I'm surprised that he didn't. Um... Dude, why would I know? I'm aware. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, apparently, apparently you are. So we're hoping that within the next couple of months we'll be able to have everything set up. We'll have the money back, and we can get that shit back up and running, which would be nice. See if you can make it. Might be going to New York City that week. Gotcha. That's fun. Anything special in the city? Or just a, just a trip that you're making. Ooh. 
But basically, we had some ideas because we thought it'd be pretty cool to do stuff like that. Like, if we can stream our practices, we can obviously like take requests and stuff. And I think that's pretty cool because what what my vocalist also had an idea for uh, idea for was a, a Patreon page for us. At that point, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Patreon, but it's basically like a subscription page that you get that you can set up and be like, hey, there are three tiers. Like, if we make a three tier monthly subscription, say like, hey, if you if like a dollar a month, like five dollars a month or ten dollars a month, and you get different tiers. We thought of like a really cool idea that like hey like the top tier subscription people could like all the top tier subscribers can like vote every month on a band they want to see us cover and then we just cover that band we pick a song from that band or maybe they pick a, a song specifically for us to cover just stuff like that to like keep um just to keep like people involved but also keep our chops up being like keep uh, keeping our repertoire pretty open too i think mean, it's a pretty cool idea just a trip to see all the sites nice have you been to the city before? I go to the city for shows, obviously pretty often. I went there uh, Thursday the 20-something of May. When did I see Slipknot? The 24th? So I think I went Thursday the 26th and I saw a concert there in Manhattan. The last time I went to the city to, like, actually just, like, visit and stuff was November. I went to see... I went to the An Anime NYC, I think, with my friend. I think that was... Yeah, end of, uh, end, of, end of November I went. And that was pretty fun. Oh, there are two Scorpies? Oh, shit. Oops. So many content providers use Patreon to say go for it. Right? That sounds like a cool idea. Like people use it often and stuff like that. I think there's I, I think there's a lot to do with it. I mean there's some pretty cool opportunities in it. I don't know if you I, I highly doubt you guys have TikTok, but we did just make a band TikTok, so. If you guys are into it, go ahead and follow that. We, um, our drummer's girlfriend, Allie, she's awesome. And our friend, Alyssa, they're both kind of, um, they've been taking a lot of pictures and videos from our last couple shows as we've been playing. So they've been making, like, promo videos for us. So they're going up on TikTok. We're going to start sharing them on Facebook and Instagram and stuff. We're going to try and build a lot more of a social media presence than we have been in the past. And now that our stuff is up on Bandcamp, like, um, our merch is up on Bandcamp and stuff, we're trying to, um, push a lot of that stuff there. So, hopefully, we, like, we just put up a bundle that gets you, like, a t-shirt of your choosing from what we have left right now, which is only, the sizes are not good. It's literally, we have one small left of our old shirt, um... Extra largest and double extra largest. That's all we've got left. Which is brutal. But, um... Let me put that up. Yes, you went twice. Once was a class of the Statue of Liberty, and the other was a trip to Rockefeller Center for the tree lighting about six years ago. Oh, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. And I promised my friend I'd go for a Broadway show at some point. Gotta figure it out with her. She'd be happy about it. Dancing videos? Hell Yeah! We had some other ideas, too. Like, most of the guys in our band have a lot of tattoos. Oh, that's a fucking mature... Dude, that's a mature... That's terrifying. This dude could just punch me and knock me out in a second. Oh. oh he's angry. Oh, he's angry! Oh, I should, I should heal. <laughs> he's charging. <laughs> Holy shit. But we had a lot of ideas uh, for the TikTok page. Like, we can do um, tattoo tours. Like, just tat like tour like obviously a tour of like all the tattoos that everyone in the band has. I don't have any, but that'd be pretty cool. Um, what else? There was oh like something like funny, like something like introducing all the guys in the band, but like a, like to the full house theme song. Like we're all doing like kind of weird things, and we all just kind of like look up and like wave. I think it'd be kind of funny. Um, and then I know a lot of bands, this might be tacky just because a lot of bands have been doing it kind of recently, but there's like a, like on TikTok there's a trend, um, that's like, guess our lead guitarist, and everyone like picks up a guitar in the band and plays some, like some kind of solo or something, and everyone tries to guess who it is, guess our drummer, everyone hit, drops, like, 
pass behind the kit and stuff like that. Uh, wait, there are so many ideas. Hold on, wait, let me, let me pull up the thing that, that, they, that I got sent. Poor, poor Strat. I was about to say poor Lux Rain. He's not even in the fucking thing yet. I've just been used to him getting shit rock lately. Oh, um, so when we go to record our next, uh, video, uh, do a behind the scenes of the music video, behind the scenes of recording our new EP when we go to do that, um, and then once we have everything set, do like an, like a snippet of each song from the EP together as a TikTok video, um, stuff like that. More of like just seeing the process of what we're doing, I guess, is really what it's about, which makes it interesting. Mr. <laughs> yeah, he really is, isn't he? Fucking terrifying. Oh wait, I didn't drop anything. God damn it. Jesus. I don't know what that looked like. That looked like it hurt. Poor little guy. Jesus. Oh, this one's sleeping, even. Oh, and that didn't work? What? Oh. What? Oh, now he's angry. Oh, shouldn't have thrown that. Um, now Laura, who knows? Maybe, maybe you'll even come over one day and we'll do a Resident Evil stream. Who knows? Who knows? I am interested to see why people are so into this. Game. I really wish there was a way to jump. <laughs> Just please. There we go. Okay. Where's that request? Oh, it's up there. Okay, so I got I got ways to go. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna start killing the chops again. Oh, it's a second too late. <laughs> I was like, I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna catch him. I also want you guys to know I've been using like some of those like flavor like the w flavor water kind of things like a like the crystal light stuff. Um, but they I found one at the uh, shop right in Poughkeepsie, and they have like Skittle flavor stuff. Like that's awesome, but it's also like a really bad idea. Well, it's not a bad it's not a bad idea. It's like because it's still zero sugar. Like it's fine. Um. But it's funny because I didn't wash out my water bottle before I started drinking the regular water now. And I had orange, so it almost looks like a like a dirty yellow kind of color, and I just feel like I shouldn't be drinking that. Oh. That went so far. Silent Hill, man. My crafty had me over if you played. We can talk about it. We, we, we'll discuss. We'll discuss. In fact, there's no Pokemon over there. Makes me believe that that might also be. Oh man! Oh, what happened? Oh shit! Well, never mind. Reaper. Oh. Okay, that just seemed like overkill. Like, come on, dude. Oh, no. 
artillery. Okay, come on, come on. I need, I need this. Is that an, is that an alpha or is that just an artillery? No, that's an alpha. They were so big. No way these things are. Oh no. Love crystal light, don't like plain water. Dude, I hate plain water. I do. I do. It's like I've been doing so much better in the sense that I haven't been drinking many, like, like much. Soda. I haven't been drinking much Diet Snapple. I've really been sticking to just like either like the like now plain water or um, flavored water, like with stuff like that. Oh God, the game back again. Why is this artillery so fucking terrifying? Um, so I've been doing good. I've I've really been trying to drink more water in the sense of like I'll drink like something else and then I'll drink a bottle of water, like plain water, and switch off. That way I'm like getting more water than I used to, but still enjoying what I want. I'm really trying hard to do that. Fun story, during summer school, pretty much everyone hated me in all the classes I took, and one day someone pissed in my water bottle. What? Dude, what the fuck? What? Elnora, what did you do to piss them off? Whatever you did, don't do it again. Because they don't like it. Haven't touched soda in four years. I feel like an alcoholic every time I say that. <laughs> Haven't touched soda in four years. Listen, summer of summer of '69 was bad with the soda. Wayer, yeah, it's happening again. I can tell. Did your cat make an appearance, or is this just you? You existed while being near them. Apparently. No, it's almost nighttime. I don't like nighttime in this game. Um, also, how do I climb this cliff? I feel like I went the wrong way. Fuck. You go on the gravel. Gravel. All me, baby. Oof. That's frustrating. I wonder why they did it. Did I miss? I definitely missed. How do bullies do anything to do? Well, fair point. You guys want to hear something really fucked up that I did? It's kind of, I mean, like, it's kind of funny. I stand by it a little bit. But only because, only because I know she wasn't too upset about it. Uh, I have to pause this, because I have to, I, I have to explain to you exactly what it was, because, like, otherwise it just seems weird. So, when I was in Duchess, I, I took, a, I took a theater class, as I think both of you have known at this point. And I may have even told this story, so if it sounds familiar, please tell me in chat, and then I'll stop. Um, I was with my like one of my closest friends, Emily, at the time, and we uh, we were putting a group together. So it was the two of us with um, another kid in class we didn't know too well, but he was very nice. Uh, don't remember his name. And then uh, this girl, Acadia. She's the sweetest goddamn girl in the world. She's so nice. And we got put in the group. 
and we just had to act out a scene basically uh, i'm pretty sure was the was the gist of this and uh and we had to do some stuff for it and we were planning this out and i pulled out my phone for like a couple minutes to like look at something i don't even know what it was but she basically like, turned around and she was so nice she, she like she wasn't being snotty at all she was just like hey do you mind like putting your phone away and like helping us out with this and you know i was like jokingly i was like huh, no so like i pulled my phone up to like take a picture of her and she's like, oh my god, no, don't do that. And she, like, covered her face. So instead, I, t I, I took the picture. And she's like, oh my god, that's so bad. Delete it. So instead of deleting it, I went home and printed out 50 copies of it. I texted Emily, hey, we need to go to class early tomorrow. Went to class early, and we taped up 50 pictures of this poor girl in the classroom. <laughs> that's terrible. Is that not terrible? Now, granted, like, we were all, like, we, we were all pretty close friends in that class. Like, it was, it was definitely a different kind of class like that. But, like, at the same time, like, what? Why did I do that? Who let me do that? Who condoned that? I know, right? I mean, it's okay, because then I helped her with, like, math later. So, obviously, they gave me the free pass. Obviously. What is that terrible? Okay, thank you, John, for laughing. I appreciate it. <laughs> it was so funny. It only started to really get out of hand when someone else in the class took a couple and started running to a different fucking building on campus, and I'm like, okay, maybe let's not do that. This is so sweet. I legitimately have no idea how to get up there. Oh, probably here. Probably up there. Uh, no, it is not. Okay. Stand by. It was a little, it was a little funny. Like, would I do it again? Probably. <laughs> My asshole. <laughs> Should have waited till in the morning. You know what? I still kind of want to. Yeah, let me go back and wait till morning. I told my sister that I'd be. Pokemon Shield, and she's like, you beat Leon? And I said, no, I beat the gym leaders. And she's like, then you didn't beat the game. That bummed me up for, <laughs> you out for about an hour. <laughs> yeah. Started grinding for EXP candy? Smart. Smart. Oh, I should have thought that. Yeah, wait, there's fall damage in this game. You know what? I'm gonna beat another one. Come on, fight me.
I, I'll be honest, I do like the idea of the EXP candy stuff. Just because, I don't know, like a lot of people hate JRPGs for the reason of just the grinding. I'll be honest, I love level grinding in games. I love that aspect of them. Because it's just so easy to like be over leveled and stuff. Like if I have trouble, I just train up a bit and I'm good to go. And I love that aspect of most games. But, Pokemon has been kind of like bad with it at certain times. So it's nice that they gave you that kind of option that you can do like the raids and stuff to make it fun and then still um, get good rewards for it and shit. Bunch of Stantler up here, uh, yeah. What the hell is he using? Oh, dick. Okay, something tells me I can't fight the Stantler. What else is up here? Okay. Paris. I don't see any shaking trees either. Let's see what this dude wants. To be honest, Gen 1 is good from a nostalgic point of view. Gen 8 is so much better, but you love both? Fair enough. Fair enough. Alright, do you have any interest in getting Brilliant Diamond or Shining Pearl to like play Gen 4 on the Switch? I ha If you like Gen 1 and you think Gen 8 is better, I really think you'll love Gen 4. Apalm stole your sack of goods. Oh, look at those jackasses. Never played Gen 4, but I'm considering it. Heard it was good. It's definitely my favorite Gen. Okay, am I just supposed to, like, chase them down, or is this going to be, like, a never-ending thing, and I just have to, um, chase them into the right corner? I wonder what the situation's going to be. Okay, now i Shouldn't do much. Um, uh, okay. Yeah, okay, let's fuck you up first. Yeah, that'll kill him and I'll still win. Gonna head out, but I just had to stream longer. Oh hell yeah, yeah, me too. Honestly, it's been a lot of fun. I'm, I'm, I'm glad I'm getting back in this game. Alnora, I will be live tomorrow night with some sword and shield raids. I, I, I will definitely be live doing that. Um, I don't know about Thursday. I might try and do an afternoon stream. I, I don't know. Um, and we'll kind of see where we go from there. But if anything, you know my number. You can text me and ask me what I'm planning on doing. So, I appreciate you sticking around. Have a good night, Elnora.
always reply back. You have a good night. <laughs> True. You too. Mm -hmm. Can't hit me. Just grab it. I too would grow in rage if someone threw balls at me. Is it? Is it? Oh. What's up, bro? Okay. I gotta start to remember to look up at the top right and see what, see what I'm fighting. Come on. Come on. Uh-oh. Alright, maybe I'm just gonna kill the Pikachu. Ugh, I think I'm just gonna kill the Pikachu. Yeah, John, I'm holding out hope. There's rumors that some of the uh, Persona games are going to be coming to Switch. I heard, I, I heard rumors that um, Persona 4 Golden was going to be coming to console, so PS4 and Switch, most likely, and that Persona 5 Royal might be making its way over to the Switch as well, which would be amazing. Is that a Vulpix? Love how the anime makes Pikachu OP, but in the game his stats are not that great. Everyone wants him because the ma he's the mascot. It's true. It's the only reason. So I would buy that. I'd buy it in a heartbeat. Truly. Realistically, again, we can t we can talk logistics and say it wouldn't make much sense for Persona 4 Golden to have done so well on on Steam, but then for, for them to not bring it to console. But, you know, we also discussed how stupid some companies are and that, like, 100% they would do that in a heartbeat. They'd do something that's stupid in terms of being wildly successful on one platform, being like, no, we don't need to bring it to anything else. So, here's hoping. Uh-oh. Did it... Does it see me? No, it doesn't see me. Boom! Oh, no! Okay, wait. I... I... Guys, I think it sees me. Oh, why is the beautiful eye here? Oh... Guys. 
might be running. I don't know yet. Let's see what the wait, uh, what's coming. Is there an app? Oh, oh, that's perfect. Alright. Even if it kills the star, yeah, it's gonna kill the star after, unless it misses. Oh, it's gonna kill itself though. Yeah, I did it. I defeated that. Oh, me. Oh, me. Probably go buy some more revives soon. Ooh. Oh wait, I can make two more revives, I think. They should release all three in one. Exactly! Persona 3 FES, Persona 4 Gold, and Persona 4 Royal. All in one, you play through each game in one shot. So essentially, it's one big game. That would be incredible, dude. I mean, not for nothing, too. Like, I would I would pay a shit ton of money for that. I would, like, not even, like, a $60 game. I would pay, like, I would pay, like a good amount of money for that. Like, I know, like, most games will do, like, special edition. Like, they'll do, like, a regular thing for $60. they will do, like, a deluxe edition for $90 and special edition for $120. I would pay $120 for that, no problem. Because that's three incredible games like that in one go. That's just me, though. Oh, the I think he's swinging Grow oh, Growlithe. I think he's Rockfire now. Ah, uh, yes, it's been many, many weeks since I've gotten here. I am so sorry that you've been standing here in the rain all this time. the small one. Same. Dude, I don't know. And it's like, not for nothing too, like I heard so many rumors that Persona 5 Royal was going to become an Xbox Game Pass, so like people wouldn't even have to buy it. Like, Microsoft has been trying to get, like, a ton of games on the Game Pass anyway, and they've been, like, digging into, um, what do you call it? They've been digging into a lot of JRPGs. They've been getting a lot of Final Fantasy titles, Dragon Quest titles, Yakuza games. Like, they've been, like, dig like really dipping their toes in that water. It makes no sense that they wouldn't take one of the, like, the world's biggest JRPGs. Do I prefer the Joy-Cons or the Pro Controller? Fingers are too fat for the Joy-Cons. <laughs> I feel that sometimes. I actually don't even have the Pro Controller. I own, I have two sets of Joy-Cons. And I have, like... I got the GameCube controller for it for when Super Smash Brothers came out because I was like... Why not? I do love... I Like, I love Smash. I really haven't played it since I unlocked all the characters and stuff like that, but... Did I... Did I click the wrong thing? So on Game Pass would be amazing. Exactly. Oh, 
let's go get this Bastille Legion, bro. But the Pro Controller does look really nice. I just haven't gotten it yet. all the way over there. Fuck. Oh, whoops. This is some real Skyrim level bullshit. <laughs> fight you. Come back here. I bet this is it. Do I have to visit her? I'll be right out. Give me a moment. That's me putting my shirt on anytime someone comes in my door. Okay, straight to the point. That's being an asshole. Ah. <laughs> Funny enough, I have one. If Persona 5 goes on Game Pass, then those who only have a PS uh, have a PC can play it too. That's true. That's true. Because that that's interesting too. Because now like so many of these companies are also coming together and like putting games on PC as well. Because obviously Microsoft was putting games on PC for a while, and then obviously Game Pass was coming to PC as well and putting their stuff on there. PlayStation is starting to do that too. I think one of the games they announced. Uh, that was coming to P like on the state of play. They, I think the original Spider-Man game was coming to PC. They said. Do I already have a Dusclops though? Can I just use that one, or do you need me to catch a different one? This guy's weird. This guy's a real weird dude. <laughs> I'm 
makes sense, but these executives do not partake in common sense. You know they do not. I should probably make um, use some money and buy some more storage space on the side. Oh god, that's the wall ring, huh? Okay. Well, that's fucked up this wall. Ring. Oh god, is the drift one with me? game like Undertale went across platform. True. That's exactly it. Just weird decisions left and right from these things. <laughs> Dude, I gotta start making the same expressions that this guy does. I gotta learn from him. Do I have to fight it? I don't remember how this game works. No, I don't have to fight it. Oh, well, I fought the Ursaluna, but I didn't fight the other thing. Let's see.
a thumbnail. Did they take one? Oh, I was just thinking this was going very smoothly. I said well. Wow. That's, that's actually really cool. I don't want to do that just yet, though. What are the requests I have? Because now I can go do the Magikarp one. I still haven't found Michellos, though. It's interesting. What other parts of the... Ma oh, I didn't go over here at all yet. Nor this cave, actually. Yeah, I've been, I've been pretty much anywhere, everywhere else. Oh, another request? Let's check over to the other request, actually. I'll be calling it soon, but not not quite yet. Someone, my friend is coming over, so. Oh. Oh, do I have to give him a choke? Oh, it's completed Pokedex entry? Oh, god damn. Okay, well, let's go fuck up that Machoke then. I got some work to do with the Machoke one, but that'll come with time. Okay, let's see. Okay, that's a little bit of money. Should get some more points though here. So I have 31 completed Pokedex entries. Alright, that's not too bad. I kind of like this. I like this idea. There's only level 3, shit. Guys, just gonna mute this for a second.
Alright, I'm gonna end it here. I'm just gonna save. I'll be good to go. Alright, cool. Turn to the village. So everyone, thanks for checking out the stream again. I know it was a bit of a mess this morning when I was streaming, but I appreciate you guys for sticking out with me for a little bit. Um, so thank you for that, and thank you for coming out to check Pokemon Yellow for me finishing that game up. And uh, whenever I stream with him with Joker next, we'll be doing Pokemon Crystal. Oh wait, can I finish this really quick? Do you just need to see an Octillery? Finished one. God damn. Wait, 57. Oh, 56. What the hell is that? Then? What was 39? Do I have 39? Yeah, I have 39. 17, 20. Okay, so I can do 17, I can do 39. Then I have 40, 41, 42. Alright, cool. Yeah, see you tomorrow, John. We'll call it here. I almost forgot how to save. Do I want to raid? There are definitely people I can raid. Yeah, I'll just end it for the night. Good night, everybody.